I don't know. There's a bunch. Four, three. I don't know. <laughs> it has been 44 years since Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs faced off in the Battle of the Sexes. I am now joined in the lounge by our experts, Ginny Berman, Mason Stoff, and Sophie Zavada, as they discuss how sports have changed since that day. So I'm going to start with you, Sophie. Um, does the Battle of the Sexes get enough credit or recognition? I think it gets the credit it deserves. You know, without Battle of the Sexes, without Billie Jean King, you know, a lot of this stuff wouldn't happen. It sort of served as the catalyst for this movement to equate uh, females in sport with males in sport. And I think that's something that's really important. And without that event happening, I don't think we could even still be waiting for an event of that magnitude to happen now to get us to the point that we are today. It was important. I will give you that. But I think the catalyst for the movement was the year before with Title IX, which people still don't seem to really understand. Because it wasn't as hyped up by the media. I think a huge part of this was that the media covered it and the media hyped it up and it brought a lot of attention to people that wouldn't otherwise pay attention to the sports world. See, my problem is that that's all it was, was media hype. I mean, to an extent, it wasn't exactly a fair fight, so to speak. Bobby Riggs was yeah. in her prime. 50, and it was, 52, it was, 55 yeah, it was, or something? It was someone in her prime against somebody who was retired for years. And now we're talking about saying that that's supposed to be a fair fight. I think it gets too much credit, honestly. The fact of the matter is like Ma what Mason said, that Title IX was the real catalyst. And at the end of the day, all the other Battle of the Sexes that happened didn't have the same results. So this one only gets popular because it was didn't the result the people same were hype, looking though. for. Like, I, I think a huge part of it, I totally understand where you're coming from, and I get that. But the thing is, a lot of these events that we're talking about didn't get the same coverage and people weren't talking about it to the same extent and still talking about it to this day 44 years later. It's because King won. There right. have been four Battle of Sexes. That yeah. was the second one. It was only really hyped because she won, but because and of the age difference, huge, it wasn't a fair fight. And while it might not have been a fair fight, she still won and still brought attention to this, you know, discrepancy between men and females in sports. So I what are you guys thinking, sorry to cut you off, Jenny, mm -hmm. but what are you guys thinking, you know, it's so big today and there's this movie coming out, correct? Yeah. So what do you think this means to sports today? Today, I think it's just kind of a symbol. Um, I, I agree with you that because of the media attention that it can still be used as a symbol and it's trying now 40 years later to give the modern generation kind of a look at what this was and they're treating it a little bit like a drama, a little bit like a comedy. That's why you have Emma Stone and Steve Carell playing the roles. Yeah, it's right. not a sports drama. There's, mm -hmm. It's a comedy drama. So I think it's trying to make something that was important. I'll give you that it was important. Right and just kind of introduce it to modern audiences. Yeah, and I think it's re it's bringing this issue back to light 44 years later when, you know, a lot of things have gotten better, but at the same time there is so much more for us to be done and I think it's sort of resurging this movement and focusing it more on, okay, well, you know, this happened 44 years ago and this is where we still are today and there's still a lot of issues between male and female in sport. I just think to me the real question is, I mean the movie didn't even really consult Billie Jean King about it and to me what yeah. Battle of the Sexes did more than anything else was establish Billie Jean King as a leader in women's sports as part of the movement for equality. But there are people who really did more actual work, Serena Williams in getting equal pay uh, yes. as far as prize money for the tennis tours as well as, I mean you could even say that the 1999 Women's World Cup team did more for women's sports as far as putting it out in yes. the forefront. No, real quick question for each of you really fast um what do we expect another battle of the sexes today anytime soon no 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 i don't i don't think there's anybody that can fill that gap that there was before i don't, I don't think as as a man i don't think that a lot of men would be willing to do it Interesting. it's appalling but i think that's the reason why well, thanks guys so much for your opinions well that's all we have for this vlog but now we don't go anywhere because thomas and i will be joined at the desk next to discuss a recent historical moment in major league baseball